Corrie McKeague was last seen walking through Bury St Edmunds after a night out in September 2016. The RAF gunner, who was 23, was seen on CCTV going into a bin loading area, but was never seen coming out. His body has never been found, despite extensive searches. Today, his father spoke after an inquest found Corrie died after climbing into a bin which was later tipped into a waste lorry. You know, I've known, I've known this for five years, but it doesn't make it any easier. And for Corey, for Corey, all, we, all we've ever wanted is a bit of dignity for him. You know, and he's not been given that. The inquest found his death was contributed to by impaired judgment due to alcohol consumption. There were ineffective bin locks and an ineffective search of the bin before it was tipped. Police searched this landfill site but found nothing. The waste firm Biffa initially said the bin weighed 11 kilograms and wasn't heavy enough to contain a person, but it was later found to be 116 kilograms. Officers said Corrie's mobile phone mirrored the movement of the waste lorry. Actually, any time when he's not on a camera. The airman's mother, Nicola, helped efforts to try and establish exactly what happened. Today, she spoke of the son she lost. Corrie lit up every room he was in. He deserved this. He deserved so much more than we've done. I wish we could have found him. Corrie's girlfriend, April Oliver, was pregnant at the time. He never lived to see their baby daughter, Ellie Louise. Five and a half years after they last saw him, Corrie's family finally had the answers. Neil Connery, ITV News.